Uh, this is a story of how I became Rispa Faith and eventually Lady Rispa. So I remember very well, I came to Nairobi in 2011. I finished high school in 2010. 2011, Eldoret Kidogo Kidogo, 2012, Nikalang, Nairobi. So I came to Nairobi uh, for purpose of learning. I went to Mount Kenya University. When I got to Mount Kenya University, I met so many people and there's this one girl, I remember very well she was called Hilda. She was from Nairobi. Then she, she was modeling at the moment. So she told me, Rispa, you know what, you have a great body. And great body sells. Saizo yondo time ya plus size models in Kwazi Meanza. So she told me, you're size 14, you can make good money out of this. Then I told her, so where do we start? Uh, she told me to carry short dresses and heels. Then she told me she's going to provide. So we are going to Nairobi. At that time, I was in Mount Kenya University in Thika. So Ndiawa Sisi Kenya Mpia, Pale Pale, Tukafika Nairobi. When we got to Nairobi, she took me to this studio. It's called Panaito in town. So that's where Rispa Faith was born. So I met Buo and he told me that, ah, mwana, ukona mwili nzuri. So what we're going to do, I'm going to propose to Steve. Steve ni Nimonyei Pulse Magazine, The Standard. And it's going to give him one of my photos, Akikubali. Then I'm going to feature on the front page of the Pulse magazine. That was like, ah, hiyo kitu ya kukua famous na kujulikana hiyo kwa tunda niyangu. But I didn't know where to start. So this was one step. One step that I needed in my life. So we took photos. It was nice. Uh, very nice photos. Focusing where it's supposed to focus, you know. Selling points. Buo took me a nice photo and then sent it to Steve. So Friday evening he calls me and tells me we're going to be featured on uh, Pulse magazine the next day. And tomorrow, I mean at 12 midnight, when the magazine came out, that's when I knew. People were texting me, calling me, ah, you've made it, you've made it. So everybody knew whenever you're featured in the magazine, you automatically have money. But they don't pay, pay anything. So from that moment I knew I need to work hard and make money so that I can meet the standards of the people. Kwa kwa gazeti bila pesa ni obvious. So I decided to start doing modeling, to start doing um, club hosting. I ride with my name, Bakani, Fike Penyan Tafik. Eh? <laughs> Motivation yangu ni pesa actually. Huh? Na dwe kuskia fall. But one person at that time I was looking up to was she motivated me. Baka nika have complex. I hope you are recording. Nika text, nika muliza how to go about it. A unicorn at some point. <laughs> but eventually they learn again. So after I blew up, everybody was talking about Rispa Faith, who is this girl, we want to meet her, Tunamtaka, Wababa Ndiao, Wameflok Kwa DM, Madame, everybody wants to be a friend, everybody wants a piece of me. So then I realized, uh, I'm becoming famous and I'm broke. So
So I decided to move to Nairobi after I made a few coins. I moved to Kasarani. So Kasarani was my first step Kukuja Nairobi. Ha! Along the way, I met so many fake friends. Um, I didn't know how to handle them. You know, I'm just a naive girl from the, I mean, from a small town. I come from Webuya. Webuya is a small town. We are not that exposed. So, and from what people used to tell me, I have a good heart. So I just let everybody in. What are Kikuja, who is Joanna Shidayanini? The little money I have, I give them. So at this point, when I met Bran, Bran is the one who really helped me to differentiate real friends and fake friends. So I remember there's a time to make an outing. We are going back home. He was here, he was around in Kenya. So in the morning, so many people in my house. I had two bedrooms. That time, we call him Mehamia Kiambu. So many people in my house, they are waiting for me to feed them, to wake up and give them money to go and buy breakfast, to go and buy food, transport here and there. And remember, I didn't have a car at that moment. And wezi kwa celebrity, na unapanda matatu, haiweze kani. So I used to hire a car every, every month so that I do a lot of things at once. So I used to pay like 2,300 Kenya shillings a day. So I got into a club, I was in a club, I was in a club, and I'm the one paying and fueling, servicing and everything. So Brad told me, there's so many people around you and I don't think uh, they are real people. They are fake people. You need to start cutting, cut, cutting them off. I was like, ah, I'm a little bit of a and he just wants a piece of you and a tuskilia weevu, nini, nini, nini. Then he told me I should meet, you know, I didn't have a bank account at the moment. I only had a pesa. So let's say ni melipwa leo siku, by kesho, lunchtime, pesa yote isha isha. We are just living for today. Every day was a Friday for me. Si jui Monday, si jui Friday, si jui Sunday. Every day was Friday for me. We drink, we party every day. So Brian came to my life and he told me, you need a structure in your life. You need to know when, man, when, when is Monday, when is Tuesday, when is Wednesday. So he introduced me to his banker. Uh, whenever I get my money from hosting gigs and doing uh, any type of business, I bank it. And from that point, there's more to life than what I have right now. So I started saving my money. I started becoming a little responsible. Yeah, that's what helped. That, I mean, that's the kind of help I got at the moment. Oh. <laughs>